week's five minutes of revelation and today in those five minutes i want to encourage you by talking about the fear of the lord and now you might think well i don't need to hear anything about the fear of the lord because as it is i have enough fears in my life i'm afraid of this i'm afraid of that there's enough fears on me already the last thing i need is someone telling me that i need to also be afraid of god well Thank God that you're still here and that you're still listening because today I'm going to tell you that that's not what the fear of the Lord means. That you shouldn't be afraid of God. Because how can God tell me at one point in the Bible to not be afraid of anything, to cast all my cares, all my fears, all my worries on Him, to not be afraid of anything and to not be afraid of anyone and then at the same time want me to be afraid of Him. It contradicts each other and that's not what the fear of the Lord talks about. See because the fear of the Lord is not being scared of Him. If you go into the Bible and study it out for yourself, look at the verses that talk about the fear of the Lord yourself, then you will find out that the fear of the Lord has to do with the fountain of life. That the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. That it's sanctification. That the fear of the Lord, there is peace. In the fear of the Lord, there's confidence. There's wisdom. There's all these good things in the fear of the Lord. And see, when you go to Proverbs 19, verse 23, you'll find out that here it says, The fear of the Lord leads to life, and whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. So the fear of the Lord is life. To fear God, in the true sense of what it actually means, is life. Whoever fears God rests satisfied, and he will not be visited by harm. Well, if the fear of the Lord holds that many good things, then what does it truly mean to fear God? See, because fearing God does not mean to be afraid of Him. If you study it out yourself, then you will find out that the fear of the Lord simply means to respect God. The fear of the Lord means to respect Him and to value Him higher than anything else and anyone that is around you. It means to know how mighty He is and to therefore act on it. And it means to fully be aware of who He is. That's what it means to fear God. That's what the fear of the Lord talks about. I'm going to read it out to you again so that you can write it down, so that you can make notes. You'll also find it in the description because it's so important that you understand this concept of the fear of the Lord. He does not want you to be afraid of anything. But what He wants is for you to respect Him and to value Him higher than anything else and anyone around you. See, the fear of the Lord means to know how mighty He is and to therefore act on it, and to fully be aware of who God is. So when God tells you that in this fear of of the Lord there is life, there is a fountain of life, there is satisfaction, there is peace, there is confidence, there is wisdom, there is all these good things in the fear of the Lord. If He tells you that, then know that by you respecting Him, by you valuing Him, by you knowing how great He is, knowing who He is, That's where all these good things come out. And that's why I'm here to tell you today that the fear of the Lord is a good thing and that you should live in the fear of the Lord because out of that will come great blessings. So take this with you today and into the rest of your life. When you read fear of the Lord, don't think that you have to be afraid of Him. See, because God is a loving Father and He wants to live in a nice and a blessed relationship with you. He cannot do that if you fear Him. But what He needs you to do is to respect Him and to know who He is, to know how great He is, to know how valuable He is for your life, how much you need Him, all the great things He's done for you and how much He loves you. All that is part of the fear of the Lord and that's why you should live in this fear. So take this with you, be blessed by that. Don't allow any fears to be in your life, only the fear of the Lord. And by that I mean respecting Him, valuing Him, being aware of Him, knowing Him, and loving Him. Take this with you. Be blessed by that. Don't forget to read your chapter today, and I'll see you again next week.